Local governance is an important aspect of governance of a nation. So as part of our governance structure, we undertake a project within the youth and local governance. So what we do under that project is to one, mobilize young people age 18 to 35, build their capacity to be able to engage in the local governance system. And then here we are most interested in the district assembly processes. We want to have the welcome remark for the program, the Honorable MC to give us a welcome remark. Fellow youth gathered here, some are from the eastern region, northern region, Greater Accra, Vuta region. You are welcome to the Sound Adventure. The youth today, they don't even come to the office to know what is pertaining at the Sound level. This is the reason why the Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs, along with the Czech Embassy in Ghana, decided to fund this project in the framework of our transition promotion program. What I like about today's workshop is that I see most of these key, key actors here. We have here a passionate civil society organization, the Youth Bridge Foundation, which has so far realized a series of activities aimed at promoting youth participation in local governments and decision-making process. Why are the youth not involved in decision making? But then again, are the youth ready? Do they have the level of knowledge? Are they ready to participate? Do they know the entry points? What are the entry points where they can engage? So it is quite refreshing that Youth Bridge Foundation is here to be part of the solution. If in general sense, youth are not participating or are not being included in the local government system. How about the most excluded um, population? That is people with disabilities. That means that our inclusion or our involvement is um, absolutely nothing to write home about. So to be part of this program and to be part of the process Anna. This opportunity that has been given us, we shouldn't take it lightly. I know most of us are coming from different regions, but when you go back, try and engage the various assemblies of the districts that you're in, just so that as you do that, you bring other people around. Because trust me, nobody will give you that opportunity until you grab that seat to sit at the decision-making table. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Learn to ensure that you present yourself decently. So wherever you appear, when they mention your name, everybody looks up to see you. You become charismatic. You are an energy that attracts people. And that is how every youth must aim to build and shape their life. My name is Sakina Adam, the Municipal Planning Officer. I say where my dream Municipal Assembly. I think today's workshop it's it's a very good one because it looks like the youth do not actually participate in local governance. Not because they don't want to participate, but because they are not even aware that there's an entry point for them. They are not aware that they are, they can always come in, they can always participate in local governance. So it's, it's really an eye-opener to most of them. And they know that from here, they can always walk into the assembly and then exact accountability. The assembly member responsibility goes beyond settling police cases and then um, when having sanitation problems in your area. They are supposed to come to our, our area to solicit for our ideas, things that we want so that you can take it to the assembly and when they deliberate on it, they will come back to we the people for us to know what they deliberated on. I never knew there was something like uh, a whole meeting done in this urban areas. Yes, so they have made me aware that we have to be listening to our local radio stations. We have to be visiting our website so that any information about our towns, we can know it from there. 
So what uh, Youth Bridge Foundation and Czech Republic is trying to do is to take into consideration local governance. Take my district for example, when the district assembly comes for meetings, you realize that only the elderly people participate. Right? But we are being motivated to take part in those decision making. So we are going to bring their youth together to let them know that they have a thick in local governance and so they shouldn't sit and watch the elderly people take decisions. The youth have not been participating at, at all. I didn't know that we, the youth, had the privilege, as in like the freedom to go to the Judicial Assembly to know more about what is going on. I've never voted in local governance election, but now I have got to know more about it, so I'll do my best and partake in it. So this workshop has been quite beneficial. We plan to ways that as youth we can involve ourselves in our district assemblies and with the rising of technology, I've also learned that as a youth I can encourage my people who are well versed in technology to go to their various district assemblies and offer their services as people who are well versed in technology to help build their websites and then the social media pages of these assemblies to help disseminate information to get to the larger public. The concern was raised about communication. A lot of people were saying that they don't hear when we have town hall meetings. And then the lady that was in the presentation mentioned that they announced it on radio. And then we were like, by radio, most you don't listen to radio. Now what we are conversant with is social media. So then the idea came out, if that's the case, then those who are well versed with social media, those who are good with social media can offer their, um, their services today district assembly so that they can help build their social media pages. When there's a town hall meeting or when the district assembly has a message for people, it would reach a larger audience of the youth.